Hey family, it's your girl Natural Chocolate here and I'm coming to you with my one year with no TV update. So I think the video that I did was like three months in or something like that and I wasn't sure if I was going to come do an update. But in the spirit of vlogging and sharing and me just flapping my gums, I figured, <laughs> I figured I'd come and talk to you guys about how it's been going, what I've been doing to quote unquote fill the time. So okay, let me go backwards. So at the end of last year, I decided to do a year with no TV. I was getting ready to move and I was like, you know what? I don't want to watch TV. And it wasn't that I was a big TV watcher. And I think I covered some of this in the previous video. Um, I'll link it below. It wasn't that I was a huge TV watcher before. It's just that, you know, I had some things in my life that weren't quite going the way I wanted them to. And I started to get some other areas in line and I started to work on my influence uh, my, the things that were influencing me knowingly and unknowingly and if you're kind of watching my whole find your flavor series um this kind of relates to the whole too many cooks in the kitchen episode but nonetheless so i just was like you know what i don't want to i don't want to watch tv i was like what is this doing for me in my life right now you know there's so many other forms of entertainment so and i'm not here's the thing i'm not like anti-tv like i can't believe y'all still in these streets watching tv i'm not that person i just right now what's on tv doesn't really interest me it's all about murder sex drugs greed ratchetness which i hate that word and it's a largely that that type of programming is largely with people who are of the same ethnicity of me you know when i was going to other stations people were getting their own shows on real estate or design or cooking or or whatever or sitcoms and and the shows that that appear, let me say this, appear to be targeted towards African Americans are of not of quality and or a substance. And even the ones that that seem to try to be, it's almost kind of tongue in cheek, just you know, borderline offensive. It, the point is, I I wasn't enjoying my TV watching experience, so I decided when I moved to not even get my cable turned on. And it's funny because when the guy came to turn on my internet, obviously, you know, you get a bundle or whatever. I didn't get a bundle. I just got internet. And when the guy came to turn on my internet, he was like, you're not getting cable? And I was like, no, nah, I'm not getting cable. <laughs> and he was like, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> I was like, live, read, nap peruse the internet which can also at times be depending on what you click on as bad if not worse than tv but that's a whole that's another conversation anyway i was like hang out with my friends spend time with my family yeah, pray i don't know cook go outside ride a bike go to the park i mean there's so many other things to do than to sit in front of this box but i laughed because when i first decided to go on this journey so many people were like, oh my gosh, what are you going to do? And I thought to myself, are people really sitting there letting, letting somebody else's thoughts permeate their brain for hours upon hours upon hours at a time? And you think it has no effect on you whatsoever? Anyway, I'm not judging. Trust me, I'm not judging. I'm, I promise you I'm not. But the point is, so that I haven't watched TV since... The end of December, like around Christmas, New Year's. And can I be honest with y'all? I'm gonna be honest, okay? When I tell you I don't miss it, ooh, I, I, ooh, I don't, ooh, I don't miss it. Like I almost want my money back for all the years that I paid for cable. Like that's 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 where I'm at with this thing. Like I needed to buy a TV stand to put my TV on, and y'all, I struggled. I was like, what? Why, why why am I about to buy a TV stand for a TV I don't watch? I mean, I was, <laughs> that's where I was with it. But anyway, now let me let me let me be transparent. I have watched Netflix on occasion, but less less than 10 times I can count. And if I go somewhere and the TV's on, I'm not in there like, no. I can't watch TV like I'm not I'm not like that you know my friends if they've got the TV on or something I'm sitting there with them big chilling but as far as me 
coming home, turning on the TV, you know, you ready to go to bed, turning on the TV, got the TV on in the background, I, that, that, that. I, I'm not doing all that. So, if any of you decided to get on that journey with me, which I will tell you, I don't think a lot of people did because a lot of people was like, I feel you, but that's not hot. You know, I got to watch my scandal or I got to watch Orange is the New Black or I got to watch whatever fake wives of not you were never married type shows of whatever city shade intended okay um i you know i cool i will say this though if you didn't do the challenge cool that's no problem i i am not here to tell you what to do or not to do but i won't i, I i'm sharing my update because i want people to think about what they're putting into their brain right Particularly what they're watching with their children or people whose mind is still developing. Even though our minds are still growing and evolving even as adults. But if you're sitting watching a show about drugs and sex and murder and the three-year-old is sitting there with you or the baby is sitting there with you, their mind doesn't know the difference between reality and non-reality. And furthermore, if you look it up scientifically, neither does an adult's mind. And so a lot of times we get desensitized, which is why we're able to watch people die or people get shot or people get murdered. And it becomes an awesome hashtag and it becomes this great movement and everybody wants to do something symbolic. And then three months later, you know, you haven't heard anything about it. And I'm not... You know, I'm not going to get into all the things that have been happening recently. But, and, and that's another thing. Just because, somebody else was like, well, how are you going to get the news? I was like, first of all, the news is insidiously harsh on the census. Thank you very much. And you don't have to watch the news to stay in touch with the world's events. Okay? So, let's be real. Because nine times out of ten, that is somebody's version of what happened and not a unbiased account of the activities that transpired but I digress but the point is our minds don't know the difference and which is why we can we can do something symbolic and six months later to oh I forgot about Trayvon Martin oh I forgot about you know Columbine oh I forgot about whatever right and no matter how many years old it is or the Boston bombers or whatever or 9-11 or the Holocaust or slavery or whatever right I mean Hey, granted, those were not during that time. Yeah, but y'all get the point. What I'm saying is, it's like it, it trends just like an episode of Scandal trends, and then it's over. But those people on both sides of everything, right or wrong, on both sides of everything, are still dealing with that. You know, people who lost family members in Boston are are still dealing with that you know when the birthdays came around and the holidays came around like people who have lost their children are still dealing with that you know what i mean and so for me i think can i say this okay this is slowly turning into a rant the frustrating thing to me is the people who watch certain things on television yet are consciously aware of how terrible it is but think that they're watching it doesn't affect the success of the show. So if you know, let's just say, I'm going to call it a, a RR rated show, a Ratchet Reality. That's my new RR, Ratchet Reality Show. I'm not going to name one because there's too many. Okay, there's too many. If you know that that show is detrimental to a group of people, let's just say mm, black women. Okay, you watching it because you just want to scratch that itch and you know you shouldn't, but you just can't resist. Then I don't want to hear you complain about it. I don't want to hear you talk about how ratchet it is because you think that just because you're watching it, it doesn't affect it. Here's the thing. Those shows go off of ratings and just because you don't have the little ratings box or whatever doesn't mean they don't know you watching. They know the success. People are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to advertise to you while you watching other people make a fool and then at what point do you say I'm not gonna watch it because I don't want y'all to send the message to young girls or whatever that this is the way to make it you know get on TV and then make a sex tape and you're a mother and this ain't your husband and who wants to see you have sex anyway 
let me get off that. Let me get back to the point. So let me, I, I'm not even going to go there because I know I'm going to step on a lot of toes. And I, you know, hey, we keep it real over in here. Okay. So let me say this. I am enjoying substantially, substantially enjoying my time without TV. I do not miss it. I feel lighter as a person. I feel even more confident than I already was and I think it's because I'm not getting all these images that are contrary to what I look like um, that I'm much more confident as a woman as a person as a human being the ideas that I have for my life and business and friendships and relationships and connection is so much stronger I'm not basing my schedule around something else because here's the thing the people that are writing these shows or doing these they making their money You'd be surprised how many people are on TV who do not watch TV. That's always amazing to me. You know, I, I also realize that my expectations are more realistic. So anyway, um, I am loving it. You don't have to wait to the beginning of the year or the end of the year, whatever. And if, you, if you're curious about it, I challenge you just to try for 30 days. Just to try for 30 days. Just... You know, and that's usually the hardest time is like the first 30 days because you're like, okay, so what am I going to do? And you make all these lofty goals. I'm going to read a book a week or I'm going to just, just try for 30 days or not. You know, if it's not a big deal to you, but this is my channel. So this is what I want to talk about today. So anyway, y'all, um, don't forget to follow me on social media. Keep up with me in between videos. You know, I'm more than just a chef. I am a woman. I, I, you know, I like to talk about different things. I'm doing different things. I'm growing. I'm developing all that kind of stuff. So follow me on the interweb. See what's going on with me. You can follow me at Instagram at Chef Evelyn. You can follow me on Twitter at Chef Evelyn. And Facebook at Chef Evelyn. And you can even follow me on Pinterest at Chef Evelyn. Because I'm getting into the whole craft DIY thing. And then, of course, as always, you can find me at ChefEvelyn.com. And if you want to join the Inside Dish. And you can also check out my other YouTube channel, Chef Evelyn TV. And uh, that's my cooking channel. That's more of my official Chefy Chef channel. Or whatever so um yeah i hope don't forget to rate comment subscribe share this video i would love to get a video response you know if i if you think i'm too much or if you think you know i'm a little too harsh and it's just entertainment it's not that big a deal which is the argument i get all the time and i'm all up for the discussion um i would love to hear your thoughts so anyway uh i'll see you guys in my next video and uh till then peace